in French, chat chapeau. In Spanish, el gato with a sombrero. So if your parents raised you correctly, like mine did me, you should be decently familiar with the works of Dr. Seuss. Obviously, today I'm highlighting the cat in the hat and starting a little bit of a new series here on my pitiful little channel. Um, I have a great love of English literature, uh, and for some reason the book reviews or uh, talking about topics that require... Um, a little bit of historical knowledge and the rest of it seemed to do the best and people seemed interested in that kind of thing. So I thought as I move my extra hair out of the way, that I might do some readings of some of my favorite works and we can talk about them as well. And I was thinking like, how do I want to start this? What would be the, the first that I'd want to go to? And of course, the, go, the greatest Dr. Seuss. So without further to do, uh, let's uh, hear the cat in the hat. Oh, and I would love to do the library and hold it up and read it like this. Um, I might show you some of the pages as we go. This is difficult, <laughs> so I don't have a way to do that just yet. So for now, just enjoy, uh, just enjoy me. So let's enjoy The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. This work was originally published in 1957, oh my goodness. And this particular book that I have was a gift to me. It was compiled, compiled by Janet Schulman and Kathy Goldsmith. Um, and a lot of the designs in here are by Molly Leach uh, from the original Dr. Seuss design. So this is not an original Dr. Seuss book. It's a good one. It's a great one. Um, this one was by Out of Random House and it's got a lot of the classic stories in them. I think I'll eventually end up reading all of them at some point, but it's got things like, um, and I think I saw it on Mulberry Street, If I Ran the Zoo, Horton Hears a Who, Yertle the Turtle. I'm going to do The Grinch at Christmas, obviously. Uh, we've got Green Eggs and Ham, uh, the Sneetches, that's one of my favorites. The Lorax, another, uh, oh, the places you'll go. One of the great things I love about Dr. Seuss is one, he did not start out as a children's author, if you know the history of Mr. Seuss. Uh, he was originally born, originally born, we're all originally born. Why do we say that? He was born on March 2nd in 1904, yes, I'm reading out of the book, um, in Springfield, Massachusetts, and his name is Theodore Seuss Geisel. Um, but when he became a children's author, it changed, He his pen name became Dr. Seuss. He really didn't start with a desire to write books for kids. It turned into that over time because his, his illustrations, if you're familiar with Dr. Seuss illustrations, I'll just turn to a random one here. This is what he does, <laughs> even without the words. We got, we got a lot happening here. So when he was trying to get into the world of grown-up people entertainment, uh, some of what he did hit and some other things did not. Uh, luckily, he found later success. This is the short version, obviously. He found later success as a children's author, even though that wasn't his first choice. Uh, but there's a lot of stories like that out in the world where people intend to do one thing with their lives, uh, but life... Um, community, whatever it is, whatever the rules are, won't let them do that thing. Um, so this is a really good story just to kind of hold on to, that even if your first option didn't work, there are still other options. Same thing happened to Elvis. Elvis wanted to be a gospel singer. And with that voice, he'd have been a great gospel singer. Actually, one of his most popular albums was his gospel album. But the, uh, the conservative church at the time, and I say that sitting in my church office, uh, thought he was a little bit too uh, worldly looking. That's the best way I can say that. <laughs> so, but he found great success as a world entertainer. So, um, but you know, I, I guess the lesson in that is when people say they have a dream, don't poo poo their dream because you never know how that dream is going to show up in the rest of the world. But anywho, let's uh, let's get into let's get into. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house and did nothing at all. 
So all we could do was sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it. Not one little bit. And then we heard something bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked and we saw at the top of the map, we looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun. Isn't that funny? I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I'll show them to you. Your mother will not mind if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make the cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call up, 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 with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high and I'll stand on a ball with a book in one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat in the hat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat. With a cup and a cake and on top of my hat, I can hold up two books. I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and a fish on the rake. I can hold the toy ship and the little toy man and look with my tail, a little red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball. But that's not all. Oh no, that's not all. This is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sank our toy ship. You sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here while our mother is out. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like it here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out. And then, fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box, a big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now, this is a trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box, there are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new, two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. 
these things oh, will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things. And he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now, here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house they should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw the room run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump down the wall in the hall. Thing one and thing two. They ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown, her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. We saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother. Your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You'll have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net. And I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net and it came down with a plop. And I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, you did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with a hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. This is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes, but your mother will come and she will find this big mess. And the mess is so big and so deep and so tall. We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then? Who was back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up my playthings. And so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books, and the dish, and the fan, and the cup, and the ship, and the fish. And he put them away. And then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in, and she said to us too, 
Did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it now? What should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? That was so super fun and I'm totally doing it again. I was a theater and English major in college and right now I'm majoring in uh, the science of communication. I'm gonna get my master's in leadership and organizational behavior. Uh, but I love communication. I love words, I love stories. Everything about it makes me happy. Obviously, um, I'm in the church office today, uh, but stories bring us together. And the more stories we learn about different cultures, different people, I personally believe the closer we all get. It doesn't matter if it's an autobiography, if it's a historical nonfiction, if it's sci-fi, Every good piece of fiction has its roots in reality, and who hasn't been a bored child on a rainy day looking for something to do that won't get them in trouble? How we wish we could have all this fun with a cat in a hat, and he comes in with a magic machine to clean it all up. That's not reality, though. <laughs> But that's a fun one. I'm going to do more of these. I believe the next book I'll read, of course, I'm going to do more of Dr. Seuss, but I think the next set of poems I might go through would be from here, uh, God's Trombone by James Weldon Johnson. I am a huge lover of um, English Black American poetry, especially uh, throughout the Civil Rights Movement and before that, uh, because there's a lot of history of who I am in that. Um, there's a lot of strength in those words and in those poems. As much as I love uh, books about Asian women and Asian authors, I very much also love stories about the people that I come from. So I'm going to start a playlist that lets me just share the greats of English literature, whether it's reviewing a novel or a movie from um, one of those words works uh, that was created or even just reading something because the more that we experience different arts uh, the closer it brings us all together so I hope that was fun contest is still going not going to review the rules in this video but I hope you enjoyed that if you did please let me know and I'll do more of them that was fun I will see you in the next one